N-400 Part 9 for U.S. Citizenship Test. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. What does claim mean? What does claim mean? To say something without proof. To say something without proof. What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? What does claim to be a U.S. citizen mean? To tell someone that you are a U.S. citizen. To tell someone that you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does register mean? What does register mean? To sign up. To sign up. What does vote mean? What does vote mean? To choose a leader. To choose a leader. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. What does owe mean? What does owe mean? To need to pay. To need to pay. Do you know what owe taxes means? Do you know what owe taxes means? To owe the government money. To owe the government money. What does owe any overdue taxes mean? What does owe any overdue taxes mean? Didn't pay taxes on time. Didn't pay taxes on time. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal state or local tax return or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. What is a non-resident alien? What is a non-resident alien? A person who has not passed a green card test. A person who has not passed a green card test. What does file a tax return mean? What does file a tax return mean? To send a tax form to the government. To send a tax form to the government. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No. Tell me what is the Communist Party. Tell me what is the Communist Party. 
A political party that supports communism, like Cuba or China. A political party that supports communism, like Cuba or China. What is a totalitarian party? What is a totalitarian party? A political party in which all people have no power. A political party in which all people have no power. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any opposition to all organized government? No. What does advocate mean? What does advocate mean? To support and promote. To support and promote. Do you understand what opposition is? Do you understand what opposition is? Disagreement with something or somebody. Disagreement with something or somebody. Have you ever been a member of or involved in world communism? No. Do you know what communism is? Do you know what communism is? A political system in which the state controls everything. A political system in which the state controls everything. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship? No. Do you know what establishment is? Do you know what establishment is? The act of starting or creating a group. The act of starting or creating a group. What is totalitarian dictatorship? What is totalitarian dictatorship? A political system in which all people have no power. A political system in which all people have no power. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any of the overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law? No. What does overthrow mean? What does overthrow mean? To remove a government by force. To remove a government by force. What is unconstitutional? What is unconstitutional? Not allowed by the Constitution of a country. Not allowed by the Constitution of a country. Do you understand what unconstitutional means? Do you understand what unconstitutional means? Methods were not allowed by the Constitution. Methods were not allowed by the Constitution. 
Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any of the unlawful assaulting or killing of any officer or officers of the government of the United States or any other organized government because of their official character? No. What does unlawful assaulting mean? What does unlawful assaulting mean? To attack someone violently illegal. To attack someone violently illegal. Have you ever associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property? No. What is injury? What is injury? Harm done to a person's body. Harm done to a person's body. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any sabotage? No. What is sabotage? What is sabotage? The act of destroying something. The act of destroying something. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. What is a weapon? What is a weapon? An object such as a knife, gun, or bomb. An object such as a knife, gun, or bomb. What is explosive? What is explosive? A substance that can cause an explosion. A substance that can cause an explosion. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that? Engaged, participated in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or other mode of transportation? No. What does kidnapping mean? What does kidnapping mean? To take a person away illegally by force. To take a person away illegally by force. What is assassination? What is assassination? The killing of someone famous or important. The killing of someone famous or important. What is hijacking? What is hijacking? The use of force to take control of a vehicle. The use of force to take control of a vehicle. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, 
a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that threatened, attempted, tried, conspired, planned with others, prepared, planned, advocated for, or incited, encouraged others to commit any of the acts listed in item numbers 6.A or 6.B? No. What does threaten mean? What does threaten mean? To tell someone that you will kill or hurt them. To tell someone that you will kill or hurt them. What does conspired mean? What does conspired mean? To plan secretly to do something illegal. To plan secretly to do something illegal. What does incited mean? What does incited mean? To encourage somebody to do something illegal. To encourage somebody to do something illegal. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in torture? No. What does participate mean? To take part in. To take part in. Do you understand the word torture? Do you understand the word torture? The act of causing great pain to someone. The act of causing great pain to someone. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in genocide? No. How do you define genocide? How do you define genocide? Killing a whole race. Killing a whole race. Have you ever participated in killing or trying to kill any person? No. What does kill mean? To cause someone to die. To cause someone to die. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in intentionally or severely injuring or trying to injure any person? No. What does injure mean? To hurt someone. To hurt someone. Have you ever participated in any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent, did not agree, or was unable to consent, could not agree, or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. What is sexual contact or activity? What is sexual contact or activity? Touching private parts of someone. Touching private parts of someone. What is consent? What is consent? 
To agree to do something. To agree to do something. What does did not consent mean? What does did not consent mean? Did not agree to do something. Did not agree to do something. What does unable to consent mean? What does unable to consent mean? Could not agree to do something. Could not agree to do something. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in not letting someone practice their religion? No. What is religion? What is religion? The belief in and worship of a god or gods. The belief in and worship of a god or gods. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. What is suffering? What is suffering? Physical or mental pain of a person. Physical or mental pain of a person. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any military or police unit? No. What is a military unit? What is a military unit? The official army for a country. The official army for a country. What is a police unit? What is a police unit? A group that enforces the law and stops crime. A group that enforces the law and stops crime. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any armed group? For example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel unit, or guerrilla group? No. What is an armed group? What is an armed group? A group that carries weapons. A group that carries weapons. What is a paramilitary unit? What is a paramilitary unit? Like a military group, but is not official. Like a military group, but is not official. What is a self-defense unit? What is a self-defense unit? A group that protects a community. A group that protects a community. What is a vigilante unit? What is a vigilante unit? 
a group that acts like the police, but it is not official. A group that acts like the police, but it is not official. What is a rebel group? What is a rebel group? A group that fights a government. A group that fights a government. What is a guerrilla group? What is a guerrilla group? A group that uses weapons to attack the government. A group that uses weapons to attack the government. Have you ever worked, volunteered, or otherwise served in a place where people were detained, forced to stay? For example, a prison, jail, prison camp, a camp where prisoners of war or political prisoners are kept, detention facility, or labor camp, or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people? No. What does to be detained mean? What does to be detained mean? Held in custody by police. Held in custody by police. What is prison or jail? What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. A place where prisoners are kept. What is a prison camp? What is a prison camp? A camp to keep prisoners of war. A camp to keep prisoners of war. What is a detention facility? What is a detention facility? A place where people are forced to stay. A place where people are forced to stay. What is a labor camp? What is a labor camp? A place where people are forced to work. A place where people are forced to work. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. If you answered yes to item number 10.A, when you were part of this group or when you helped this group, did you ever use a weapon against another person? No. If you answered yes to item number 10.A, when you were part of this group or when you helped this group, did you ever threaten another person that would use a weapon against that person? No. Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons or assisted any persons in selling, providing, or transporting weapons which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military type training? No. What is weapons training? 
What is weapons training? Learning how to use a gun. Learning how to use a gun. What is paramilitary training? What is paramilitary training? Learning how to fight in combat. Learning how to fight in combat. What is military type training? What is military type training? Learning how to fight in combat. Learning how to fight in combat. Have you ever recruited, asked, enlisted, signed up, conscripted, required to join, or used any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed group or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. What does recruit mean? What does recruit mean? To ask someone to join the armed forces. To ask someone to join the armed forces. What does enlist mean? What does enlist mean? To sign up into the armed forces. To sign up into the armed forces. What does conscript mean? What does conscript mean? To force someone to join the armed forces. To force someone to join the armed forces. What does attempt mean? What does attempt mean? To try to do something. To try to do something. Have you ever used any persons under 15 years of age to take part in hostilities or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Have you ever participated in combat or providing services related to combat, such as serving as a messenger or transporting supplies? No. Do you know what hostilities are? Do you know what hostilities are? Acts of fighting in a war. Acts of fighting in a war. What does combat mean? What does combat mean? To fight in a war. To fight in a war. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does commit mean? What does commit mean? To do something wrong or illegal. To do something wrong or illegal. What is a crime? What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. An action that breaks the law. What does commit a crime mean? What does commit a crime mean? 
To do something that breaks the law. To do something that breaks the law. What is an offense? What is an offense? A minor crime. A minor crime. What does to be arrested mean? What does to be arrested mean? To be handcuffed by the police. To be handcuffed by the police. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official in the U.S. or elsewhere, or immigration official for any reason, or been charged with a crime or offense? No. What does to be cited mean? What does to be cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Given a ticket by police. What does to be confined mean? What does to be confined mean? To be kept in a place. To be kept in a place. What does to be charged mean? What does to be charged mean? To be accused formally of a crime. To be accused formally of a crime. If you received a suspended sentence, were placed on probation, or were paroled, have you completed your suspended sentence, probation, or parole? No. What is a suspended sentence? What is a suspended sentence? A punishment under the law. A punishment under the law. Explain to me what probation is. Explain to me what probation is. You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. You report to an officer regularly instead of jail time. What does parole mean? What does parole mean? Allowed to leave prison early. Allowed to leave prison early. Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. Do you know what procure means? Do you know what procure means? To find a prostitute for somebody. To find a prostitute for somebody. Please tell me what a prostitute is. Please tell me what a prostitute is. Someone who has sex for money. Someone who has sex for money. What is prostitution? What is prostitution? The work of a prostitute. The work of a prostitute. What are proceeds? 
What are proceeds? Money from a transaction. Money from a transaction. Have you ever manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispensed, sold, or smuggled, trafficked any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country? No. What does cultivate mean? What does cultivate mean? To prepare land and grow crops on it. To prepare land and grow crops on it. What does dispense mean? What does dispense mean? To supply something. To supply something. What does smuggle mean? What does smuggle mean? To take things to a country illegally. To take things to a country illegally. What are controlled substances? What are controlled substances? Legal drugs that can be bought with the prescription. Legal drugs that can be bought with the prescription. What are illegal drugs or narcotics? What are illegal drugs or narcotics? Like heroin or cocaine. Like heroin or cocaine. What is drug paraphernalia? What is drug paraphernalia? Equipment to make illegal drugs. Equipment to make illegal drugs. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does obtain mean? What does obtain mean? To gain something. To gain something. What is an immigration benefit? What is an immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. What does illegally mean? What does illegally mean? Not allowed by the law. Not allowed by the law. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does gamble or gambling mean? What does gamble or gambling mean? To play a game for money. To play a game for money. Tell me what illegal gambling means. Tell me what illegal gambling means. 
to play a game for money that is against the law. To play a game for money that is against the law. Have you ever failed to support your dependents, pay child support, or to pay alimony? No. What is a dependent? What is a dependent? Someone who relies on another person. Someone who relies on another person. What does pay alimony mean? What does pay alimony mean? To pay money to an ex-spouse after a divorce. To pay money to an ex-spouse after a divorce. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. How do you define misrepresentation? How do you define misrepresentation? The act of giving false information. The act of giving false information. What is public benefit? What is public benefit? Welfare, like food stamps, housing, or health care. Welfare, like food stamps, housing, or health care. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you know what false is? Do you know what false is? It means it's not true. It means it's not true. What is fraudulent? What is fraudulent? Intended to deceive somebody. Intended to deceive somebody. What is misleading? What is misleading? Giving somebody the wrong idea. Giving somebody the wrong idea. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. What does lie mean? What does lie mean? To say something that is not true. To say something that is not true. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Do you know what removal is? Do you know what removal is? Making someone leave the U.S. Making someone leave the U.S. Do you understand what rescission is? Do you understand what rescission is? To take back a decision. To take back a decision.
What is deportation proceeding? What is deportation proceeding? Legal process for removing or deporting a person. Legal process for removing or deporting a person. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. What does to be deported mean? What does to be deported mean? To be forced to leave the U.S. To be forced to leave the U.S. Are you a person born as a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. If you answered yes to item number 22.A, did you register for the Selective Service? Yes or no. If you answered yes to item number 22.B, provide information about your registration. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does avoid being drafted mean? What does avoid being drafted mean? To prevent being selected as a soldier. To prevent being selected as a soldier. Do you know what U.S. Armed Forces are? Do you know what U.S. Armed Forces are? U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force, Space Force. U.S. Military, Navy, Air Force, Space Force. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. If you answered yes to item number 26.A, are you scheduled to deploy outside the United States, including to a vessel, within the next three months? Yes or no. If you answered yes to item number 26.A, are you currently stationed outside the United States? Yes or no. If you answered no to item number 26.A, are you a former U.S. Military Service member who is currently residing outside of the U.S.? Yes or no. Have you ever been court-martialed or have you received a discharge characterized as other than honorable, bad conduct, or dishonorable while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does court-martialed mean? What does court-martialed mean? To go to a military court. To go to a military court. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you are an alien? 
No. What does to be discharged mean? What does to be discharged mean? To be allowed to leave the armed forces. To be allowed to leave the armed forces. Do you know what alien is? Do you know what alien is? A person who lives in a country but is not a citizen. A person who lives in a country but is not a citizen. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What is a hereditary title? What is a hereditary title? A royal title, such as a prince or princess. A royal title, such as a prince or princess. Do you know what an order of nobility is? Do you know what an order of nobility is? A position given by a king or queen. A position given by a king or queen. If you answered yes to item number 30.a, are you willing to give up any inherited titles or orders of nobility that you have in a foreign country at your naturalization ceremony? Yes. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes. What is the Constitution? What is the Constitution? It's the supreme law of the land. It's the supreme law of the land. What is the form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Republic. Republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Do you know what allegiance is? Do you know what allegiance is? To be loyal to something. To be loyal to something. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. What is the oath of allegiance to the United States? What is the oath of allegiance to the United States? A promise to be loyal to the United States. A promise to be loyal to the United States. What is developmental disability? What is developmental disability? A physical, cognitive, or emotional impairment. A physical, cognitive, or emotional impairment.
Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. What does bear arms mean? What does bear arms mean? To own or use a gun to fight. To own or use a gun to fight. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What are non-combatant services? What are non-combatant services? Services that do not involve combat or hiding. Services that do not involve combat or hiding. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What is work of national importance? What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation during crisis. Tasks that are important to a nation during crisis. What is civilian direction? What is civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military. A direction from a person who is not in the military. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.